make sure you don't let nobody step on you. You feel me? Do what you got to do. I ain't saying go out and fight every other day. Do what you got to do. Make people respect you. Don't let people think, oh, I can try on this day. Nah, let them know that they can't try you any day, any given day. Like, they know. Word, word, word. Hey. I Mac with a girlfriend flirt, flirt. Yo, finna be hurting me. Yo, her really digging me. I ain't got no love in me. So why would I show her sympathy? You see what she did to me? She stabbed my heart and watched me bleed. All right, what up, gang? It's your boy, King, and I'm back here with another video for y'all today, man. How y'all feeling? You feel me? You know, I'm doing pretty good. Uh, It's been raining down here where I'm at a whole bunch. Has it been raining in y'all cities? Like, I think it's supposed to rain for, like, the next week or two down here. Joint tragic, for real. Ain't nothing to do. So, you know, I'm coming out with some more videos or whatever you feel me. Today, we're going to be doing a senior year reflection. So, basically, I'm just going to be going and I'm going to be telling y'all 10 things that I learned throughout high school. It's going to be advice, things you should do, things you shouldn't do all that you feel me so yeah y'all upcoming freshmen if you're watching this video take some tips and tricks because you know high school is a journey you can you can live from it you'll have some good experiences some bad experiences i'm just here trying to tell you about my experience a little bit about my experience how i feel about some certain things you should do you shouldn't do and all that you feel me so yeah um let's go ahead and let's get into this video but first y'all know what's up y'all go follow the social medias man Instagram at Amarion King, Snapchat at Aking.02. They are all listed down below in the description box, you feel me? But yeah, let's go ahead, let's get straight to this video. So for the first one I got for y'all is don't try too hard to impress people, you feel me? Now this is really important because I know a lot of freshmen, they do this because they try to, they want to rock with the uh, upper upperclassmen, you feel me? Uh, they like to be with the juniors and seniors a lot because it makes them look like the cool kid or whatever, you feel me? But in reality, be yourself, bro. Because freshmen, unless you're a freshman girl, them juniors and seniors is not caring about you. <laughs> oh, God, man. And it's sad to say, like, them dudes, them junior and senior dudes who be messing with Freshman girls, I ain't with all that. I'm not with all that. Uh, people be living like that. I don't. I don't see why, man. Uh, I think it's dumb, but I'm just gonna keep it a buck. Any other freshman, like unless you're a freshman girl, them juniors and seniors for the most part really do not care about what you gotta say, how you feeling. They gonna they gonna stay with they click. You feel me? So yeah, that's number one. Number two is first impressions do matter now i'm gonna switch this one up a little bit i'm gonna change it to first impressions often matter because the truth is they don't always matter and i don't want to make it seem like i'm saying that they always do or that they always will um but they often can like with your teachers faculty uh other students like your peers around you uh coaches especially like your your first impression can often matter if you come to practice on your first day and you saying you want to be starting or whatever but you all tired you ain't ate they ask you if you ate you ain't ate nothing all this and that like what kind of impression are you making you making that impression you don't really want it you come to class the first day or whatever you goofing around everything like you going the teacher going thank you you, you they already gonna be like, oh, I know what kind of kid this is. I know how this year finna go, you feel me? You sleeping all throughout class and everything. Like, they gonna know what's up. And that'll start, like, especially with teachers, that'll start a lot just at the beginning of school year. They won't even really know you, you feel me? And then they'll just be, like, hawking you all the time, keeping their eye on you. Like, you gonna, they gonna have you in the back of their head 24-7 all throughout the rest of the school year, you feel me? But on the other hand, first impression is, don't matter sometimes you feel me like just because they don't some people simply don't pay close enough attention to stuff really or don't think about stuff too much you feel me so it is what it is you feel me you just gotta live through it everybody is not gonna like you you feel me and that's the honest to god truth that's not just high school elementary school middle school high school college just life period life in general everybody that you meet y'all hear that
<laughs> Fat, what you want? Yeah, that's my little brother down at the bottom of the steps. Causing for me, he only eat one. All right, so like I was saying, uh, yeah, everybody not going to like you, whether it's elementary school, middle school, high school, college, it's just life in general, you feel me? So, yeah, if somebody, if you rocking it with somebody and you can tell they're not really feeling you or whatever, don't try too hard to be in their circle. Find your own lane, stay in your own lane, find your own clique, your own people to hang with. Find the people that really going to genuinely be there and matches your vibes and your energy you feel me for number five we got everybody is not your friend for real now i don't mean this to sound like uh i mean that's number four i don't mean that to sound like the one i just said before like everybody not gonna like you i mean i mean this one as in everybody's not your friend for real i mean that as in all the people that you gonna meet who gonna tell you and who gonna say and try to act like they're your friend. At the end of the day, when it really come down to it, everybody is not gonna be there. The ones that really, that you really feel, you can tell your struggles, your pain, every, any and everything you going through at any time and moment, the ones you talk to, you ain't even gotta talk to them daily, but the ones that y'all check up on each other here and there, ain't gotta be every day, ain't even gotta be every other day, it could be like once a week, ain't even gotta be that, like, y'all, y'all just know, y'all know, them is really your friends, them your true friends, I got friends like that, and I don't call them my friends, they're my brothers, you feel me, and they know who they is, and they know what's up, yeah, I'm rocking with them for life, no matter what, you feel me, but yeah, um, everybody you meet, and who gonna tell you they're your friend, is not your friend, and y'all should notice, especially a time like this right now, you should have witnessed, uh, when you got so many people so-called your friends, and I'm speaking for if you, uh, black or whatever, you feel me? I don't mean to just put it off, like, against any other races or any, nothing like that. I don't mean to just section it off or whatever, you feel me? But especially for, like, black people at this time or whatever, um, I live in a place, the schools, just the whole place in general, I'm gonna keep it above, is mainly white. Now, I got so many so-called friends that have been completely silent during this whole thing. You ain't got to be out here protesting. You ain't got to be out here donating, signing petitions. Any, you don't have to be out here doing everything, but at least say something. Speak up. It ain't even got to be your words. Heck, reshare something. Instagram, Snapchat, Twitter, everybody, any and everybody got some sort of social media. Just a small little retweet or something could go a long way, you feel me? People underestimate the power of these social media platforms, you feel me? But I got so many friends, so many so-called friends that I went to school with that was completely, that have been completely silent during this whole time. And it just made me reevaluate. Like me, the kind of person I am, I, I already knew, like I'm already knowing. How people really be thinking, how people really feel towards stuff. But other people, they're not like me. Like me, I sit back and I read people's energy. I read their vibes. I read the things they say. You feel me? And in school, out of school, just everything. Like, you just got to know me and how I move to get what I'm saying. For real, for real. You feel me? But yeah, like, I'm already knowing a lot of these people that I go to school with who so-called my friends and stuff going to be quiet and everything. But it really, like, it really surprised me the extent of how many people that I did not see say two single words about the whole situation or none of that. How they felt, how people in their family felt, nothing, no reshares, no likes, no, like, none of that. People have been completely silent, and really, it was disgusting to me, you feel me? But, yeah, like, I had some people from my school, I ain't gonna say no names, who was hitting me up, like, bro, I feel for y'all, you feel me? What can I do to help out, you feel me? And when that happened, when, when they texted me, like, that really shocked me, surprised me. Like, I knew they was a genuine person, for real. Like, we don't talk like that to keep it a buck. We don't even talk like that. But the fact that they took it out of their way to hit me up and ask me, bro, I feel for y'all. What can I do to help out? Can I do this? Can I do that? What should I do? You feel me? That really, that, that, that opened my eyes up to them. You feel me? 
But yeah, um, not to do too much talking about that one. That one is what it is. Everybody is not your friend for real. Everybody who you meet throughout high school who say they're your friends is not going to be your friends. You might start out with a lot of friends, end up with a little bit of friends at the end of high school and everything. You just got to move on with life. The next one is don't let your past hold you back from nothing, any and everything, no matter what struggles you've been through, physically, mentally, emotion. You want something, go for it. Don't let nothing, nobody say, nothing you done been through, nothing hold you back. You feel me? Uh, I'm not going to speak on why I said this. Just some things I done been through in life. Some feelings and emotions that I got bottled up or whatever. You feel me? Um, Maybe not necessarily bottled up, but stuff that I think that I thought I probably would have never been able to do. But I didn't did it or I'm doing. You feel me? Um, So, yeah, I just wanted to throw that out there. Um. I'm here for y'all. Y'all ever need something, y'all hit me up, you feel me? I'm here. Uh, you feel me? But yeah, um, you you want something, manifest that joint. Don't tell no don't let nobody, but it's your family, friends, nobody, you feel me? Don't let nobody tell you you can't do nothing. You want something, you go do it. But let's get next to the next one. Let's get on to the next one. So the next one's gonna be make memories and have fun. You're going to slip up every now and then with your grades, whether you're just not feeling the sports you're doing, something at the time, you're not feeling practice, whatever. You're going to slip up. What? Mommy got groceries in her car. Right. She's going to Sorry for the interrupting, do you feel me? But, um, what was I saying? Oh, uh, yeah, um, so make memories and have fun. Throughout high school, you're gonna slip up uh, with your grades, whether it's grades, you might slip up, you might not be feeling a practice one day or whatever. Uh, yeah, that's just, it is what it is, you feel me? Everybody gonna mess up sooner or later. Don't stress it too much, you feel me? Um. And make memories and have fun. You feel me? That's a big part of high school, making memories. The people you got, your real friends, the ones that you're going to be kicking it, cooling with, make sure y'all chill. Make sure y'all hang out. Make sure you go out to games, do things you like to do. It might not be games, but do things you like to do throughout high school. Uh, have fun being a kid and being free while you can because soon... The real life gonna hit you. And I'm speaking like I know this already when it ain't even hit me yet. But I just got this feeling that I know it's about to hit me real soon once I touch down to college, you feel me? And after that, I know it's time to grow up. It's time for me to do me, you feel me? So I don't got no much, I don't got no more time throughout high school. Obviously, I've graduated, but this that's kind of one of the things that I regret a little bit. Um I didn't go to prom my junior year. Y'all see what happened this year, corona and everything. I ain't able to have a senior prom, really, a formal senior prom or whatever. So my whole time throughout high school, I never went to a prom and that kind of hit me. And then graduations is messed up, you feel me? No f formal, no regular graduations like everybody would have if corona wasn't here, you feel me? like. So, like, once Corona just hit, it kind of made me sit back and rethink, like, I really regret not going out and doing as much with my guys as I had opportunities to do so. You feel me? Um, Yeah, high school, that's the time. Make sure you have fun. You feel me? But we're going to go to the next one. Next one is make people respect you. Now, I don't mean just go out here, be a big bully, go be a dog, or whatever, be rude to everybody, but... People, there are gonna be some people who gonna, who might try you. Make sure you don't let nobody step on you. You feel me? Do what you gotta do. I ain't saying go out and fight every other day. Do what you gotta do. Make people respect you. Don't let people think, oh, I can try them this day. Nah, let them know that they can't try you any day, any given day. Like they know what's up. They might joke around, they might play around, but at the end of the day, they know not to press this one button right here, or it's gonna be wrapped. You feel me? So yeah, that's that. So, 
Uh, like I say, the first two or three kind of um, like everybody not gonna like you. Don't try too hard to impress people. Sometimes kicking the dough is just the best way to be. You feel me? Um, and it ain't even gotta be just all the time. You feel me? Sometimes if you going through something, if you feeling you just not feeling out being in a big crowd with everybody. You feel me? Kick it, Dolo, if you got to. No matter what anybody else gonna say, bro, you being weird, you acting weird, bro, you antisocial. Do you, you feel me? No matter what nobody's saying. If you need to kick it, Dolo, you need to just ride and feel your own waves, your emotions, how you feeling, whatever, about something, anything. Just do you, you feel me? No matter if, just do you, you feel me? Uh, the next one is don't, and I mean this for real. I, <laughs> yo, I had to do this so many freaking times, and this was, that's why this was one of the biggest ones that I remember. Like, I had no problem when I was thinking about doing this video. This one went straight to my head. Don't let authority abuse their power in school, bro. Don't. There's gonna be them mean, nasty, rude teachers, or them ones who try to put a nice guy and sucker up to your principals or whatever, try to get you in trouble all the time, try to start stuff with the students, and then try to play it off with any and everybody else. Like, you the one doing stuff. Do not let them abuse their power, man. I'm not gonna speak on no situations, but I did this so many times, and me just being me, number one, if y'all knew me, I'm well, I'm gonna let y'all in on some stuff about me. Number one, I'm gonna say how I feel. Number two, if you stepping at me wrong, I'm always gonna step back. Unless I'm really, I really just don't care. Like, that's another thing about me. I really don't care about a lot of stuff. So sometimes with teachers and stuff, if they're stepping me wrong, I might blow it off. Because I'm like, I'm really not trying to get expelled from school, getting all this trouble, you feel me? Because I would really step on your face, man. But, bro, like, don't try me. But, yeah, um, there's been so many times with teachers, principals, whoever, like, they try to abuse their power way too much because they're the so-called authority. They try to tell you, do this, do that. Like, bro, no, I'm not for it. And y'all shouldn't be neither. Don't let no authority abuse their power over you. Don't let them Don't let them tell you to do something that you know you shouldn't do, you know you're not supposed to do, you don't really want to do, unless it's like, like something you know you should be doing. Like, go ahead and do it. But like some, something that you ain't really got to do and you know you don't really got to do, do not let them force you to do it because you know at the end of the day you ain't gotta do it. And do not let no teacher step on you and try to mess with you and then make it seem like to the principals or anybody else that you the one doing this and that, you the one starting this and that. Like man, don't don't do that. If you gotta you gotta go off, they yelling at you, you gotta yell at man, go ahead. Like I'm telling you, bro. I, I did it so many times. These my teachers knew, really, do not press me like that. Like so, so this last one is Number 10 or 11, whatever. This one is figure out what you want in life and chase it. Uh, school is not going to teach y'all everything you need to know in life. Even high school don't do that. Even college won't do that. It's not going to teach you everything you need to know in life. You feel me? Um, honest, Honestly, I feel like school teaches you a lot of stuff that most people won't even really need to know in life. Like one of my coaches the other day just put on a Snapchat story and was like, he still ain't ran into ran into a problem in his life yet outside of school that sine, cosine, or tangent has helped him solve. And I laughed at that so hard because it's, it's so funny because, like, you really don't need that unless you're doing some kind of, like, engineering and stuff with math and all that. Most people in reality do not need that. You feel me? Plus, if you really need it, you don't really need to know it in your head no more. Everybody got technology and all this and that. Like, you really don't need to. I feel like a lot of that math stuff, you really don't need to know. But, yeah, man. Um, Like I said, figure out what you want in life. Go chase it. No matter, no matter if it's sports, get on your grind. If it's YouTube, get to work. Get on your videos. Get them banners right and thumbnails right. All that. Uh, if it's music, get, get, you, get, get your studio or you find you a studio, get set up, get the right in, hit the pen and pad, hit the notes in your phone, whatever it is you like to do, man. Uh, just get to it. Do what you want to do. Figure out what you want. Manifest it. Don't let nobody tell you you can't do it. Put it in your head that you're going to do it. You feel me? 
Don't let nobody stop you, man. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. This was just 10 quick things that I learned throughout high school that I felt like I could maybe give y'all some guidance on or just let y'all in on my overall high school experience or whatever. However you take this video, it is what it is, you feel me? But man, I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, I got more bangers dropping soon. I got plenty of ideas, but y'all can go ahead. Y'all can keep telling me more ideas. Leave them in the comment section down below or hit me on one of my social medias. Like I said, go follow me on all my social medias. Instagram at Amarion King. Snapchat at A-King.02 with two Gs. TikTok at No Love Amari. And we out, gang. Y'all feel me? I'm going to catch y'all. They say rainy days don't last for long. I'm sitting here thinking when these sunny days gonna come along. But fuck these bitches, fuck these niggas, they left me alone. Tears in my eyes never cry cause I gotta stay strong. They say rainy days don't last for long. I'm sitting here thinking when these sunny days gonna come along. But fuck these bitches, fuck these niggas, they left me alone. Tears in my eyes never cry cause I gotta stay strong.